Hello guys, what's up? The ceiling. Today we will be tackling the first part of the question. That is... Okay, let's uh, go through what's given. The position vectors of A and B as well as the vector equation of line L is given in the question as you can see on the screens. Show that the line L does not intersect the line passing through A and B. To begin, we need to find the vector equation of the line passing through A and B. Now, the vector equation of any line is, e is given by R equals the position vector of a point on the line, in this case, either OA vector or OV vector, plus a constant that can be denoted by a letter, such as gamma or mu, times the direction of the line. So, let's begin uh, by finding, by calculating the direction of the line passing through a and b that is a b vector which is simply equal to o b vector minus o a vector uh, before moving on i would like to make one thing clear the row form of the vector x i plus y z plus z k and the column form of the vector x y z as you can see inside the box in the right side both these forms they mean the same thing uh, but uh, it is easier to use the column form XYZ it is it is easier to use the column form of the vector so we will be using the column form and not the row form that is used in the question so let's begin by writing OV vector and OA vector in the column form all right there we go there you go and by using vector subtraction we get a v vector equals minus 1 2 and 2 therefore the vector equation is r equals the position vector o v vector plus a scalar constant gamma times the direction uh, well there are two position vectors out of which you can pick any i have used o v vector you can also use o a vector and to denote the constant i have used the Greek letter gamma. Okay, now let's substitute the value of OV vector. And we have calculated successfully the vector equation of line AB. <sighs> okay, now let's move on. Okay, uh, the vector equation of line AV we have calculated, and the question gives us the vector equation of the line L. To show that the lines, to check whether the lines intersect or not, all we need to do is to equate these two equations. That's it. So equating these two equations. I'll tell you why. That's because, okay, let's start off by, uh, with uh, the line AB. Now the points on line AB satisfy the equation of line AB. And similarly, the points on the line L satisfy the equation of the line L. So, if the lines intersect, there will be a common point that will satisfy both the equations. So, to check whether there is a common point or not, uh, we have equated these two equations. So, let's simplify these up and we end up with three equations. Now, uh, all that is needed is to take any two of the three equations and solve them to find the value of the scalar constants gamma and mu and substitute those in the equation which we did not use. Uh, I will be taking equations second and third simply because the mu will cancel out since there is a plus mu and a minus mu now adding equation second and equation third we end up with six plus four gamma equals two plus one three the mu's cancel out therefore gamma equals uh negative minus uh, uh, gamma equals minus three by four now let's substitute the value of gamma in equation second to find mu which i have done so this is equation second, and I have substituted gamma equals minus 3 by 4. And after simplifying this up, we get mu equals minus 3 by 2. 
So from equations second and third, we have calculated the values of mu and gamma. Now all that's left is to substitute these values into the equation we did not use. That is in equation 1. 1 minus gamma equals 1 plus 3 mu. Let's substitute the obtained values. This is what we get. Then let's simplify them up further and we end up that the left hand side is 7 by 2 while the right hand side is minus 7 by 2 which is absolutely not correct therefore the lines do not intersect if the left hand side was equal to the right hand side the lines intersect so this is how you solve these types of problem find the vector equations of the two lines all right then equate them to get three equations then using any two of the three equations, find the values of the scalar constants like we did here. Then substitute those calculated values into the equation you did not use. So if the, and after uh, doing that, if the left hand side of that equation is equal to the right hand side, the lines intersect, indicating that there is a common point. And if the left hand side is not equal to the right hand side as in our case indicating that there is no common point therefore the lines do not intersect all right folks uh, i hope that was helpful thank you and see you again goodbye